Hey everybody, I recently started using Fusion to manage my inspections and to generate inspection reports for me. And I thought I would share that process with you because it was so useful to me. So I have this test part up here and we'll do some inspection operations on it. First thing is you may notice I am in the manufacturing environment. You have to be in the manufacturing environment. The first thing I do is make a new setup. You can do this right in line with all of your normal cam setups. In fact, you could actually do this in one of your normal cam operations, but I like to make my own setup for it. And for the stock, I set it from solid and then I choose my existing model. You don't have to do this, but this basically just hides the stock so it doesn't get in the way in the future. And I'm gonna rename it in this setup inspection just to keep things neat. From here, I can right click on that and select create manual inspection. That pops up this little dialog. And now you can choose what features you want to inspect. This works just like the normal inspection or measurement tool. So let's say we wanna do this pocket here. I'm gonna hold down control, click on that wall, rotate around, click on this wall. And over here in our inspection box, it's showing that we're doing a distance measurement from parallel surfaces, and that is the nominal dimension. I can name what I wanna call this, so this would be pocket Y, and I can set my tolerances and make a comment. So for the comments, a lot of the times I can write what I would inspect it with. For example, put in you know calipers, just to tell someone who's doing the inspection what tool you want them to use. Or in my case, I have my calipers serialized, so I would probably do this with my six inch calipers, pair number one, so C6-1. To add a new dimension, I'm just gonna hit plus and we can choose the length of that pocket and label this pocket X. You can click on the sidewalls of cylinders to give you the diameter or whatever you want. If you wanna do a thread on a go, no-go basis, for example, we can change this to a pass-fail type dimension. And I don't remember what size thread that was supposed to be. Let's pretend it's M3. And I can just label that M3 thread. And then later we can give it a go or a no-go. Anything that you can measure with the normal fusion inspection tool, you can set up as a dimension inside this tool. Let's just give it one last dimension of the overall thickness, change it back to a distance, and we'll call this thickness. And let's say we want our dimension to be a little bit tighter on our thickness. All right, with all these done, I'm gonna now hit OK. These will pop up here like they're toolpaths. All of the same toolpath rules apply to these. And in fact, it actually views this as a pattern. I don't know why, I guess that's just how the organizational structure works in the manufacturing environment. At this point, all we have done is made an inspection plan. We have not actually inspected any of our parts. And no, we aren't doing this on the machine. We're doing this with calipers and micrometers and gauge pins and like physical hand tools. So at this point, you've made the part, you're sitting there holding the part in your hand and you wanna start recording these dimensions. All you have to do is right click on your manual inspection and select record manual inspection. Now it pops up this box where you get to enter your information. So for this pocket Y, let's say we measured it um, 0.585. It'll give us the deviation, which is the nominal to our measurement plus the error, which is the amount that we are over our measurement. We can choose to show or hide extra dimension lines too. If things start to get noisy, you can choose to hide the dimensions that aren't the active one. And when you're ready to move on to your next dimension, just hit next or click on it up here. For this dimension, let's say we missed it and we hit 755. Now it'll show us our deviation and our error and it'll highlight it yellow. All right, next up the counter bore. Let's say we undershot that one just a tad. Our M3 thread, we can mark as either pass or fail. Let's go pass. And our thickness, uh, of course we nailed that right on, okay. So we filled out all of our dimensions now. And you can see that it gives us a preview if it's in spec or not. It'll tell us if it's high, low, or in the band. 
And if we hit OK, it'll pop up down here. These measurements are now stored with your Fusion document. So you have a, a record that you can go back to. If you want to display those, you can just click on the eyeball and it shows up there. Or if you want to create an inspection report, you can right click on that and hit inspection report. This will let you save it both to your Fusion library or to a drive on your computer. Let's just stick this in downloads. And it uses our last camera position. Normally I try to go to a nice pretty isometric view, uh, but I forgot this time. And it shows us all of our inspection data, the name, the actual measured, what our tolerances are, our deviation, etc. It looks super nice and super professional, and it doesn't really take any extra work over what you would normally be doing. We don't have to like try to manage Excel spreadsheets or like scan in a drawing or a, a hand filled out report. It's just all here natively in Fusion. It's awesome. You can of course do this for multiple parts. So, you know, let's say that was our first article and now we wanna do one that's in process. We can hit record manual inspections again and fill out all of our info. When we're done, we just hit OK, and now it pops up a new inspection results. And this time, to put both of them on the same inspection report, I'm going to right-click on the results folder instead of the inspection results folder, the top-level folder, and generate the inspection report the same way again. Now, if we look at the report, you can see that it gives us separate results for each part. And if you wanted to, like, serialize your parts, you could give them a, a serial number here. So if we change this to, you know, part, part one or whatever, that name will show up in your inspection report. You also don't have to record all of these inspections at the same time. Let's say you can only access some of these features after your op one. You can measure those features when you first get access and then come back for the rest. So if I just fill out these two dimensions and put them in a new inspection folder, they will come up here on the bottom. Then I can go back and hit record manual inspection again, fill out whatever missing dimensions that I had. And this time I can choose which set of inspection results I want them to go in. So in this case, we were on inspection results five. I'm gonna hit okay. And now they will, and now they will pop up down here. If you somehow put one in the wrong place, you can drag them around just like toolpaths. So this is how I am doing all of my inspection reports at this point. It's super convenient. I have a record right there in Fusion. I have a nice printable uh, piece of paper or a PDF that I can send to the customer. And if you are a Zometry person, the, this counts for your Zometry standard inspection form. It doesn't work for the formal inspection, but for your standard inspection form, all you have to do is send them this piece of paper. You don't have to manually go and fill out their inspection form. They are perfectly happy to accept this. This process has probably saved me like 10 minutes from every job that I've done for the last month or so. And I thought you guys would like it. So tell me what you think. Thanks guys, bye.